I've had one too many cable snags that have resulted in me having to replace the belts in my modified EQ6 Pro mount, so I've decided it was time to rethink the wiring. I had lots of power, USB and dew heater cables going from the pier to the telescope. 13 in total I think. My revelation came when I drew out a wiring diagram, so I made the following changes. I moved to a single 12 volt 30 amp power supply. I then created power distribution hub and fitted it onto the OTA. I moved the USB 3 hub from the pier to the OTA. So I'm one USB port short on the hub. So I have a dedicated USB cable for the EQ mod for the mount control. So here are my tips. Learn the hard way for cable management. My first tip is minimise the number of cables. I've got three, one power and two USB data cables. Um, ideally I'd only have one USB 3 data cable. My second tip is make sure all the cables come off the pier at the same place and that they're nice and free and loose and easy to move. Attack the cables from the pier to the mount at a place where the mount doesn't move. So I've used the um, polar axis and this doesn't move at all. This piece here prevents the cables from sliding down any further and I've done that so that there's a nice area here of slack that allows the mount to move without the cables getting caught up. I have another stop here to make sure that this piece of cable here is always available for when the mount is moving so that it can't go past there and therefore potentially get tied up. Also another tip, use the polar axis because the polar axis only rotates, it doesn't move anywhere and therefore whilst this can rotate um, it's not pulling the cable so much. From the polar axis, the, tele the cable moves up to the declination axis. Now this part doesn't move, this part does, hence I've got a nice loop of cable here and it's nice and loose to um, take up any um, play when the, when the mount rotates. Once it's here, the cables no longer move in relation to the telescope and therefore how you cable it from there um, doesn't really matter because they're not going to move. So whilst I only had three cables, two power and one, one power and two USB, you can see that there's a lot of wiring going off to lots of different gear. Let me just explain how this works. So the power is all distributed here to this power box. This is the power coming in and it goes out five different lines. Some of the power lines go to this box which is a power switcher which allows me to turn on different pieces of equipment such as the dew heater. Here's the dew heater controller and then the USB is here. This is a USB hub that takes the um, one of the USB cables in and then converts it to um, lots of USB connectors that then um, go off to all my different pieces of equipment. And because all this sits on the tube, none of the cables um, can get tangled, they just stay on the tube, they're all always in the same position relative to the equipment they're using. So that's my cable management system and how I keep all the cables controlled so that they don't they never um, tangle. If you have a 3D printer and want to print your own cable management parts, they are available on my Thingiverse page and I've left links to them in the description. Also feel free to comment, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.